Welcome to the Original Game Crews Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, we want to do a uh, kind of a, a double duty here. We're going to correct some uh, past false information that we were reporting, and then we're going to also report some relatively new information that's coming from the same source. So this is regarding the uh, Lucchese mob um, administration. We were calling it a shuffle or a merry-go-round based on what uh, former Lucchese soldier John Panisi had said um, in a Q&A session on his Sit Down News podcast on YouTube. But uh, he came out and clarified. Uh, originally, it looked like he was saying that Patty Red Del Russo um, had become an acting boss for a couple of years in place of Big Mike DeSantis. Uh, but that was not true. Uh, but what is true, I guess, is that according to John Panisi, uh, Patty Red, who was the underboss starting in about 2000, or acting underboss starting in about 2017 via a uh, administration shift ordered from prison by Vicka Musso, who ordered uh, one sitting administration out and another sitting administration in. Uh, the, the administration that was coming in was Big Mike DeSantis, Patty Del Russo, and Andrew Simone. But John Panisi, who was the person that gave the, the feds this information in the first place about that, uh, that change in the administration, um, and seems to be really plugged in, uh, he's saying now that Patty Red, not only was he not um, acting boss ever, but he's no longer the acting underboss or the underboss. Uh, John is claiming that he'll uh, come out in the next week or so and give some more details and some more context to why Patty Del Russo got uh, either voluntarily or involuntarily removed from his underboss spot. But it looks like that's the big piece of news, uh, the accurate piece of news that's coming out of this kind of confusing um, Lucchese news cycle. Um, but it looks like, according to John Panisi, Patty Red Del, Del, Russo, Del Russo is no longer in the administration. Um, so we'll wait to hear what that means, but just to clarify again, Big Mike DeSantis never stepped down, was never, um, well, we had said before they didn't step down, but it looked like he had had to kind of take, um, had been on the sideline for a couple of years based on what we were interpreting. Uh, Panisi saying it in that Q&A, but now he, again, he clarified it. Uh, Big Mike has been in the boss slot, acting boss slot now since 2017. It's going on seven years now. And uh, it, it, it was a, um, an accurate statement to say that uh, he, he wasn't the boss for a short period of time and that Patty had taken the spot. But now we're learning that Patty is presumably back to his uh, captain post. He's a guy that goes you know, back in this crime family, back to the, to the Goodfellas crew, uh, that uh, uh, Big Polly Vario crew out of Brooklyn, um, and is a guy that uh, really juiced in uh, did some significant time uh, was you know, big on the big in the airport rackets back in the day, uh, juiced into the unions. Know, knows a lot of guys uh, around the country, so we'll see what happens with that. But just to just to clarify, Big Mike DeSantis still the boss, never left the boss's seat. But Patty Del Russo, aka Patty Red, who became acting underboss in 2017, there were rumors that he became full underboss in 2020. At some point in the last three or four years, he left that position, is no longer in it. And um, we will wait to see who fills that slot and why uh, John Panisi tells us that um, Patty Red is no longer uh, the, the acting underboss or the underboss of the Casey Crime Family. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out.